The fiends have been less organized with most. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. Now, what can I... Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. Thanks for... Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Move along. Vendors are see <laughs> more bit. <laughs> Business with these wealthy. Hey, chum. Well, and the best place to start would be with Ralph at Mick and Ralph's so over. See our shits wandering through. The fiends have been less organized with motor rider. Honest traveling's making me thirsty. Good riddance. Howdy. Goodbye. Hey, you helped out Bill Ronte, so the followers worked out a deal for you to drink free. If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down. We gotta have some way to regulate usage. Sure thing. Bye. are gone. Hello. So long. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. I've got you. 
to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Time for some get.
holding my breath. And then the fight started.
Your merchant friend is always welcome among us. Have you run off those grease? Great work. I gotta make sure this place doesn't eat itself from the inside. You know, this time I may actually need a gun with a brain. Talk to Mrs. Hostetler. She's near the Crimson Caravan. I think her daughter's making bad friends, the kind that'll slit your throat in the dark. I like your enthusiasm, stranger. Let me know when that's done. Just gotta find me some sweet jack. What's eating you? That's a long one, stranger. Let's just say I got tired of killing in the wasteland, and now I found a better home for my old butt. Outer Vegas ain't exactly a safe place. Despite our numbers, the wasteland creeps through every nook and cranny. I make sure any dangers to the people of North Vegas stay outside our barrier, stranger. Day and night, I stand watch. I'll see you again, stranger. Those fiend junkies over at Vault 3 have been taking some hits. I say kill them all. I've got nothing to say to you, punk. Square. Maybe it'll be a little safer to travel now that the Fiend's bosses are dead. We're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Rock.
Hold up. What's the password? If you're here to see the Major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Hold up. What's the password? Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps. Heard some more people got attacked last night. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the King, offering to coordinate the relief effort. Our envoy was brutally beaten, and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. But that's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Yes? Was there something else you needed? You're quite welcome. If you meet anyone who needs food or water in the area, please tell them about this place. That fiend leader.
Let's kick this in gear. Integrated Security Technotronic Officer active and reporting for duty. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. I am programmed for your pleasure. Please assume the position. Fisto will report to the Atomic Wrangler for further orders. Yes, sir. Let's distribute the weight. Chum, welcome back. You did? Ha, ah, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. It is! It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. 
For the right caps, I might be able to put in a good word, or let people know you're not... All right, I can chat you up, but it's gonna cost you. I'm not risking my reputation around here for nothing. That'll do nicely. I'll spin some stories about how you stopped a mugging or two and saved a kid's pet rat from certain doom. Sure. Till now. Hey. just down the street. You're almost there already. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. You've been a godsend to Freeside. What's up? Welcome back, friend. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rat away? You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. The Old Mormon Fort serves as the follow- Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here, but the Kings quickly took control of the pump. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you want?
always welcome among the followers, friend. Need some grub? You'll be back. Watch out for the kings, they're unpredictable. Hey. Almost out of caps. Medicine's running low again.
Are you okay? Hello. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? That all depends on who's asking. Whoa! Yeah. I guess the Garrett sent you after me? Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? And I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you. Sorry. That meal's still available. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, The Boneyard, or Vault 13? Right. Fine, then. Last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two-headed bear, an eagle, a two-headed snake, or a two-tailed lion? Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph. Lovely to meet you. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Damn! I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another.
Hey. You've done a lot for Freeside, and it is much appreciated. Here's one on the house. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove you're worth his time, but it'll be well worth it. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. Pleasure doing business with you. Till next time. Yep. Let's see what you got. Hey there, youngster. Thanks for pretty... Another satisfied customer. Bye. Howdy.
And then the fight starts. Just in time for your ass.
Don't need this right now. Let's distribute the weight. Hey there. Something I can... Later.
How may I assist you? Hello. Can I help? Thanks. Bye. Let's distribute the weight. Have you found it? The Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Another satisfied... Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open lane. Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out, but checked it back in a day later. Sure. The Elder's already given the okay. Unfortunately, you'll have to use your own weapons and ammo. are going to start up again. Do you know what this means? I'll actually be able to get into a real fight! I wonder what it'll be against. Raiders? Rad Scorpions! Death Claws! Oh, I can't wait! So what's up? Later. How? So you're one of us now, eh? Truly, it is a rare op- Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been- Honor. Seems the destruction of the monorail didn't slow the NCR down much. How many troops do they have? Is the principles of fusion are relatively the training the other day. Hard foes is right up. Man. That's why you won't challenge him outright. I'm really busy now. Sorry. Yes, can I help you? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of here with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. But before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Oh, I sort of altered the records after we got back. That was Watkins' idea, too. That girl is nothing but trouble. Still, I haven't been exiled yet, or worse, assigned to latrine cleaning duty. But I will if you don't help me find that gun. Great. When you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear.
this traveling's making me thirsty. Runs a tight ship. We haven't had an incident in over a year. Your arrival is cool, of course. We have a duty to preserve the past. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Hardin soon. Oh, thank God. Hardin was about to start an inquiry into the whole affair, and more than a few heads would have rolled as a result. Since you helped me, I'll tell you what. I work on some of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept off the books. Here, take this. I hope it comes in handy. Later.
travel to Freeside. You're safe. You must. Who's been going around helping people? What are you doing? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ruff. Seems like they've got things straightened out in McCarran now. We're still seeing a big increase in traffic. Move along. Move along. Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? That's a shame. Well... Do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. Hey, word is the leader of the fiends got taken down. I would have done it myself. You, ever had the to step in? you find out something about them soldier boys yet? Sure can. Near as I can tell, was some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, but everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the King. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the King's House of Dog Chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool, and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. 
Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too, along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. What you have in mind? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He goes through spells like this from time to time. The followers said his brain is going bad or something. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. Second, I have to approve. And I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around. And if you play your cards right, things might change. We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old-timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others. And that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Pace, he and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. And there's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. All right. You find out something about them handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah. That would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. There. Keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. 
Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Hello. Hello. Guess we won't Hello. be doing this for much longer. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Shouldn't be long before the fiends are wiped out. Welcome back, friend. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry, who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem. Evening. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. 
I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Ask away. Sure can. I have a friend who has just what you're looking for. Has a shop over yonder by the east gate named Mick and Ralph's. Just tell Ralph that I sent you, and he'll get you squared away. Things have been a lot better since you... The kid, we've tried. Oh. What's up? Personal space meaning anything to you, guy?
cash their chips early.
Don't need this right now. Serving up some hurt. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Doc's inside the lodge. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. It goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. Such a... Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I've got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. The town was broken hills, a bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. See you. 
humans down the road could be great cards again. You think Marcus could get us some mini guns? It's so long, Charlie. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Talk to you soon, dear. Another human. What was enough? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting! Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is... is... uncomfortable. It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Finally. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. I don't see him with you. Bring him to me and I'll take a look. Otherwise, I'll just be guessing. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The Stealth Field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Thank you. I strongly suspect that the source of the mutation is artificial, but the super mutants found nothing. Your fresh eyes may do better. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Yes.
Let's see what you got. We find this friend Benny of yours? Looking forward to rattling his cage. Can't tell you how glad I am you butchered the fiends. Caravans across the wastes are gonna be buying you drinks for years. Ask? Jean Baptiste? Either that? The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gl Don't have any objections speaking with him. I'll, I'll hold up here. Let's roll out then. Let's hear it. You look... What? No music? I'll hold the tears till I'm gone. I'll get out of your hair then. Good to see you around. Bye. I heard that some of the bosses of the What's up? 
Let's go make trouble. See you around. A bunch of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Hey there. Need a Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. Someone's watching me. I can feel it. Someone's watching so many staring eyes. I heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The Great Khans come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. All right. Bye. Is there something else I can do for you? It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. 
Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Yes, yes. Hello. See you around. So, you're back! Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family. And I've got other dogs to take care of. He and I had joined up with the same caravan. Add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say we got to know each other. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <coughs> Is there something else I can do for you? Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. All right, let's see here. Your old pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Have a seat. This will take a while. Is there something else I can...
You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. A lifetime supply of fancy lad snack cakes, revenge against my enemies, and world peace. In that order. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? I called them family before. That's not far off. Both the good and the bad. It's like a big, unending family reunion in that bunker. There's people you love, people you'll never speak to again, and it's always awkward when you run into someone you used to date. What's up? Why does everyone always say that? Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear... Appreciate the help. A winter. Been doing a lot of good work at... Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Well now, look what rolled in. What, you getting lonely out there? Was reminded why I left this place soon as I walked in. Let's go. Background? Work around here? My ch Don't- Sure could- 